Hi, I'm Richard from Frozen Well. Welcome back to the ninth devlog for my game Ghost Blaster. If you're enjoying these devlogs, please hit the subscribe and like buttons. It'll really help me out. First off this time, I wanted to add some lights to the game to start to give it the atmosphere that I was looking for. I've not used lights in Godot before, so the first thing I needed to do was take a look through the documentation. There's some good examples on the Godot website, and having read through these, I had a good idea of what I needed to do to add the lights. I was going to need to create a texture for the light itself, and also having normal maps for the sprites would be needed for what I wanted to achieve. Having decided that I was going to use normal maps, I started to look into the best ways to create them for 2D sprites. If anyone doesn't know what a normal map is, it's a way of faking the way lights react with dents and bumps on a surface. After a bit of searching, I came across a great piece of software that makes creating normal maps easy. This software in question is lighter. This can be obtained on itch, the link is in the description below. Here's the first normal map that I've generated using Lighter. It's just a case of importing the sprite you want to create the normal map for and then making adjustments using the sliders till you're happy with the result. Here you can see me creating a wall light scene in Godot. I've added a light 2D node to the wall light I already had and I'm animating the scale of this light to give it a little flickering effect like a real flame would have. Here's the first attempt at the lighting in Godot. I've added some light 2D nodes and used a slight orange shade to the light to give the effect of a warm glowing flame from the wall torches. You can see that as I move the lights around in the scene the light changes on the stones around the window and the stones on the walls. I'm quite pleased with how this is turning out. I've now added some more lights into the scene. I'm trying to simulate moonlight coming through the windows and if you look on the stones around the windows there's now a more white light showing as well as the orange from the torches. This needs a little bit more work but it's coming along nicely. I've done a bit more work with the light 2D settings in Godot and the lights are now affecting the background wall more. This is now a lot closer to the effect I had envisaged so with some lighting now in place it's time to add some more content to the levels. Next I worked on some shields to be used as scenery to break up the level. Here you can see the different variations of shields that I created. I also created a normal map for these. When making the normal map I discovered a limitation with lighter. As you can see it takes into account the different colours and adds different bumps and dents to each shield even though the shape of the shields would all be the same. After a bit of manual editing of the normal maps I created one that can be used for all the shields as you can see here. Here are the shields in the game. I've made the level generation randomly pick one of the shield designs each time for variety. Next, I want to add some vertical moving platforms to enable the player to move up and down in the levels. I started off by adding sprites for a track for the platform to run into the background tile map which you can see here. Then I also added a normal map so that the lights reflect off it correctly. Next I created a basic platform sprite and added all this into Godot. Then it was on to coding the platform's behaviour which was quite straightforward. I just set a bool called moving up and when this is set it moves up and when not it moves down. It changes state when it collides with a top and bottom collider. After getting the platform working I had to make a few changes to the player controller as the scaling and jump and landing effects were not working correctly when on the platform. I sorted these issues out by using move and slide with snap instead of the basic move and slide function. As you can see here the platform is now working well. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the devlog please hit the like and subscribe button so you can follow my progress, I really appreciate it.